so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video we are going to talk about how we can model and animate that kind of ceiling fan in blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and in this video we are going to talk about some modeling tips and tricks and we'll also talk about how we can animate this uh, fan like this so make sure you watch this tutorial till end so first of all i just want to show you my model so i'm just gonna pause this video and if i'm just gonna exit my camera view so here you can see that looks something like that and if I'm just gonna play my animation again so here you can see that looks something like that and which is look nice to me okay so first of all I just wanna enable my overlay section and I just want to delete everything and then I'm just gonna switch my solid mode so here I'm just gonna enable my shortcut VR so you can easily see which key I'm pressing on the left hand side okay and uh, first of all I just want to split my window something like that yeah something like that and here I will just uh, open my reference image which is help us to create the same ceiling fan model okay so I think uh, I have to open my image yeah so here you can see that this is our reference image and which is help us to create the same ceiling fan model so first of all we'll just create this uh, middle part so for creating the middle part I will just add one circle here pressing the shift A then I'm just gonna edit mode of this circle and after that I will just fill this shape pressing the F so we'll just get that kind of shape here and then I'm just gonna switch my face mode pressing the 3 and we'll just do extrude something like that I think that much extrusion is look nice to me yeah okay and after that I will just add one edge loop in between here and we'll just scale this uh, edge something like that and after that we'll just do bevel pressing the control B and we'll just get that kind of nice uh, curve here basically nice shape here okay and after that we'll just select this bottom faces and we'll just do insert pressing the i and now i just want to drag it a little bit down something like that okay which is give you that kind of shape okay and that's look nice and one more thing i just want to do what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add one more edge loop here and after that i just want to bevel this edge pressing the control b and we'll just decrease the number of edges we'll just only add the one edges in between two edge something like that and now I just want to select this middle edge and we'll just do scale pressing the S yeah and after that I will just add subsurface modifier into this part so we'll just get um, more smoothness and we'll just also get this kind of shape here which is look nice also and we'll also increase the level of viewport at least two and after that we'll just do right click and do shade smooth so we'll just get a more smooth shape here and one more thing I just want to do I just want to delete the that bottom face and we'll just uh, select the all side edges pressing the alt and right click and now i will just press the f3 and here i will just search the grid fill so we'll just click this grid fill so we'll just get that kind of shape here and now that's look nice to me we have a more smooth edges here okay so here you can see that that part is look nice to me we'll just uh, select our bottom part and i just want to press the i for the insert we'll just do one more time again i yeah something like that okay and then i just want to scale a little bit more then i'm just gonna extrude it one more time then i will do extrude one more time Then i'm just gonna extrude it and drag it a little bit upside and we'll just do extrude it one more time something like that then i just want to press the i for the insert so we'll just get that kind of shape here which is look nice also so here you can see guys our middle part is done now i just want to create that shape here basically this shape will just make so for creating the, this shape i will just use the uh, cylinder i will just add one cylinder pressing the shift a and then i just want to scale this cylinder something like that but first of all i will just enable my x-ray view so we can easily see where it gonna fit so i think that's look nice to me okay and i will just to drag it a little bit down something like that okay we'll just scale a little bit more then i'm just want to apply the scale first of all okay and after that i will just hide everything except this cylinder and we'll just uh, delete the we'll just delete the that top and bottom face yeah something like that and now i just want to uh, unhide everything pressing the alt edge yeah and we'll just again enable our x-ray view and here i will just drag it a little bit up something like that and we'll just add some edge loop in between this cylinder yeah i think four is look nice to me and now i just want to switch my vertex mode and here i just want to scale these vertices something like that so we'll just get that kind of curve shape here and that's look nice to me by the way 
okay so now i just want to off my uh, x-ray mode and we'll see how we get basically yeah so we have a, that kind of shape here now what i'm gonna do uh, so first of all i just want to add one solidify modifier into this part so we'll just get little thickness inside this part so i think uh, that much thickness is look nice to me yeah that is enough to me okay and after that we'll just add one subdivision surface modifier also so we'll just get a smoothness also and after that i will just do right click and do shade smooth so we'll just get that kind of curve shape here so one thing i think i should do what we have to do first of all we have to just uh, enable our x-ray mode again and we have to just do little scale this part something like that and uh, one more thing we have to do we have to just add one and two supporting edges here yeah something like that and here also yeah that's look nice now okay so here you can see guys our that shape is also look nice to me now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna create this uh, middle cylinder part so we'll just add one cylinder pressing the shift a and then i'm just gonna move my top view and here i will just scale this part so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna scale this part from this blue shape yeah something like that i think we have to do little more scale yeah that's look something like that and after that here you can see we have a that kind of shape here which is look nice to me i just want to drag this shape little bit up something like that and we have to do little scale yeah and we have to just apply this scale as well we can do little bit more scale i think yeah that's look nice to me okay and after that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna duplicate this shape pressing the shift d and we'll just move it on a z axis and we'll just rotate it something like that so here you can see we have a that kind of shape here and i okay and i think we have to just do little scale so i just want to set my origin as an individual origin and i will just do scale something like that i think that much scale is look nice to me we'll just change our origin point as a median point yeah so here you can see guys our top part is also look nice to me now we'll just create these fan parts so for creating these fan part i will just switch my top view and here i will just add one plane and i just want to drag this plane here to here and we'll just uh, scale this plane something like that okay i think that much thickness is look nice to me and we'll just select these vertices and gonna drag it here to here i think that much length is also look nice to me okay and we can do little bit move forward yeah something like that okay and after that i will just apply the scale first of all and after that i just want to add uh, some edge loop in between this plane i will add uh, four vertices i think four edges and we'll just do little scale something like that i think that's look nice we can do a little bit more yeah okay and what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add one edge loop here and then i'm just gonna bevel this part pressing the control b something like that and we'll just select this side edge and we'll just do extrude e and x something like that okay and after that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna edit mode of this shape and i'm just gonna extrude it pressing the e and z something like that and then i will just select this side edge and we'll just do control b for the bevel and we'll just create that part is little smoother something like that so here you can see we have a that kind of fan part here so i just want to little scale it yeah i think that much sizes look nice to me and now i just want to drag this uh, part little bit here yeah something like that we can just do inside also okay now what i'm gonna do i just want to duplicate this part all around this fan so for that first of all i will just change my origin point as a 3d cursor okay so after that i will just do shift d then i will just press the r for the uh, rotation and then i will just do 120 okay something like that and then i will just do shift r for the repeat command so now here you can see we have a that kind of shape here and which is look nice to me and one more thing i have to do it i think that middle part is look way bigger to the other parts so we have to just scale this part something like that okay i think that's look nice to me now and now what we have to do we have to just uh, change our orientation as a global to local then we can just uh, change our origin point as a median point then we can just drag it something like that something like that and something like that as well yeah so now here you can see our fan is look nice to me okay so our fan part is done now what i'm gonna do 
I'm just gonna create this shape basically. So for creating this shape, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add one cube here, and then I'm just gonna scale it something like that. And first of all, I will just change my orientation local to global, and we'll just move it here to here. And then I'm just gonna switch my bottom part, and I'm just gonna scale this uh, shape here to here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna my top view. I think we have to just scale this shape something like that i think that much scale is look nice to me and this then okay and then i'm just gonna drag it little bit down something like that so first of all we'll just apply the scale okay and after that i will just uh, select this middle face and i'm just gonna drag it a little bit up then i'm just gonna drag it okay and then i'm just gonna press the i for the insert something like that and then i'm just gonna extrude it pressing the e something like that and we'll just drag this edge something like that i think that much okay so now that look nice to me okay and after that we'll just add one bevel modifier and we'll just uh, apply scale first of all and we'll just decrease the amount first of all i think 0 0.01 is look nice to me and we can just increase little segment yeah so now here you can see we have a that kind of shape here and one more thing we can do it by the way we just select this face and we'll just drag it here to here i think that's look nice okay and after that we'll just drag it little bit here to here and same thing we'll do here also what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna do change my uh, origin point as a 3d cursor then i will just do shift d then i will just press the r and i will just do 120 okay and after that i will just do shift r so it will automatically copy on the all over the fan part okay so here you can see guys our uh, fan modeling is done now that's look nice to me now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna create a animation part so, so first of all what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna drag this window and close it first of all so first of all what we have to do we have to just link our all part with the our middle part basically so what gonna happen exactly so when i'm just gonna rotate this middle part so these part also gonna rotate along with them so, so first of all i just want to select my all parts and after that i will select my middle part and then i'm just gonna do control p and here i will just do set parent as a keep object so now here you can see when i'm just gonna rotate this so all the parts are gonna along with them and which is look nice to me okay so now first of all what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna apply the rotation first of all then i'm just gonna press the i and here i will just add one rotation keyframe and then i'm just gonna move my 120th frame and here i will just press the n and we'll just get this uh, transform dialog box so i'm just gonna press the 360 degree divided by 10 and we'll just get that kind of value here and then i'm just gonna press the i so now i will just set my end frame as a 120 something like that and now here you can see when i'm just gonna play my animation so we'll just get that kind of animation here but right now here you can see we have a slow fast and slow animation which is not look nice to me now how we can fix this problem so for that what we have to do we have to just select our, our all keyframes and then we have to just press the t on our keyboard and we have to just set this animation interpolation as a linear so now here you can see it's gonna continuously rotating so here you can see we have a that kind of fan rotation here which is look nice to me so here you can see so if i'm just gonna switch my rendering mode so here you can see you will see something like that and you will see something like that okay so that's how you can create that kind of ceiling fan using the blender and you can also animate something like that so i so thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have a session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys